used to put all the pressure on myself and all the responsibility for the student learning on myself. If they weren't learning, it was because I didn't plan the lesson right. Now I'm realizing and constantly reminding myself that the student learning is really in their hands. I can facilitate, I can give them creative challenges and problems to work on, but in, in the end, they get out of it what they, what, they put, what they put into it. This class is more hands-on than other classes. My past classes, the teacher would like just stand at the board and talk, not really take questions. For this class, I like that when she separates us into our groups for whiteboards, she'll go around and like ask questions and answer them freely. The biggest difference that I've noticed has been that the students are more apt to help each other. They are more interested in, instead of giving up quite as fast, they might look at somebody else's board, get an idea, and figure out, oh, that's exactly what I need to do, and that helps them move forward on their problem. It's not getting to pick your group, because if you pick your group, then it's going to be around the same people. But if you don't, you know, I mean, you get paired with people that you probably wouldn't talk to. It's easier to learn because the different methods to do everything, and like the different people that you come in contact with because not everybody has the same way. So you can find something easier for you. So instead of 20 to 25 minute notes where the students are just sitting there taking notes and basically mimicking what I'm doing, we do real short notes, like maybe five minutes. Uh, we split up into random groups and they work at the whiteboard on problems that grow gradually more complicated that, that help them to discover the mathematical concepts that we're learning rather than being told about the mathematical concepts. And then we try to come together at the end and kind of consolidate what we've learned and I try to highlight the key points to make sure that everybody takes, takes away the most important concepts. Well I definitely feel that this type of teaching will prepare the students for higher level math and even for college because it is putting more of the work on the students and taking less of the in-class work for us. We still, teachers still are going to have the prep to get ready, but during the class it's pretty much passed off to the students and then they can do what they need to do to understand the content.